we are live. So, hello everyone. Hi, Facebook Live. Hi, YouTube Live. Hi, everyone that is here today. I am just super, super excited um, this um, evening, afternoon, or morning, wherever you are in the world. Um, my name is Olivia Rufai, and I am honored and privileged to have this beautiful lady that is going to speak to us um, about, we're talking about health and we're talking about gut health, all right? Um, and how good nutrition, the importance of good nutrition is. So I have Jemima, who is a clinical endoscopist, and she's gonna be explaining, we're gonna ask her a couple of questions, she's gonna explain, because I know some people are thinking, what is an endoscopist? So um, she specialized in that, but I'm gonna ask her a few questions. So if you're watching via Facebook, if you're watching via YouTube, please invite, because gut health is very, very important. And a lot of people don't realize the importance of it in living a healthier lifestyle. So we have a specialist here that will give us some information on it and the importance of good nutrition. You know, when I talk about gut, a lot of people think, well, what is the gut? So if I do it in a simpler way, you understand the bowels, you know, and they go, oh, I feel bloated. My bowels are bloated. Or, you know, my stomach is big and stuff like that. Maybe you might be able to understand it from that context rather than saying the gut. But um, thank you so much. Hi, Jemima. How are you? Thank you for jumping on. Hi, Olivia. Thank you for um, inviting me. I'm so honored to be here. Um, that's it. Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning. Whatever time is in your area that you're watching us, we're hoping we're going to have a good session tonight, just learning some things that probably doesn't make sense to us, but it is something that we need to be concerned about. Okay. Wow, amazing. So Jemima, I've just introduced you as a clinical endoscopist. Please just explain to those of us that are here, those who are watching via Facebook and YouTube, what is a clinical endoscopist? Thank you. A clinical endoscopist um, can be related to somebody who does um, endoscopic procedures. So um, there are so many of endoscopic procedures some checking the stomach, which we call um, o OGD, also phageal gastrogeogenoscopy. Um, I will leave these terms out and make it just simple. So checking the gullet, checking from the bottom as well, the large bowels, and some also they check the pancreas going through the mouth, and then there's a whole lot of other endoscopic procedures like um, checking the lungs, and then also checking the urinary bladder. But everybody has got an area that they specialize in. And for my area, checking the gut, when you're talking about the gut, it's from mouth to the bottom, and then um, I do the bottom bit, okay? That's, that means I check the large bowels. That's wow. what an endoscopist will do. Day by day, I, as I do in clinics, and in the job role, we get to meet different kinds of conditions, and the treatments can be different day by day. Right, okay. Mm. So, wow, going through the, the back passage, I guess, to um, look that the, um, you know, it's, it's because I know some people may have experienced this before, or some people may never have heard about this before, but what type of um, patients, what type of people do you usually get to um, look to do an endoscopy? Okay, so they can range from anemia, weight loss, um, bloatiness, as you were say, talking about, abdominal pain, abdominal cramps, bleeding from the back passage, um, 
uh, mucus from the back passage. Some people, it can be pain on defecation. Some others, it can be um, a slit in the inner canal. And the worst of it all, it could be a cancer. It could also be an irritable bowel syndrome, or it could be an inflammatory bowel condition as well. Wow. So let, let's just go back. I like you how you said bloating and the bowel, because I think that's what a lot of um, women, <laughs> a lot of women, we, we, I don't know if anybody's here, that can identify, you know, in regards to the bloatiness and what are the things that um, as, as, as men and women in regards to bloatiness, because I know that bloatiness could be caused by different things, but when should we feel that, you know, some people say, you know, I'm sure there are a lot of women here that would say, oh, I'm feeling bloated. But at what point should we be going to the doctors um, obviously we will go to our doctors that will make a referral to you. But at what point, we want to understand what point, because, you know, bloatiness is something that is very common. It's a very common thing that we say, oh, I'm, I'm feeling bloated. You've just eaten, I'm feeling bloated. But at what point should we actually be going um, to, see the, see, to see the doctors? Okay, so uh, bloatiness in itself can't just be a symptom that you just get up and go and then report. But if it's been persistent for over six months, I would get worried and I would want check, uh, to be checked. So for instance, maybe it's associated with other symptoms that it can be um, of uh, great concern. So if it comes with you have an acid reflux, you have an indigestion, it is worth checking. It means there's something that is going on in the gullet that needs to be attended to. And most often, if this comes with constipation as well, you will worry. There are times that it can be diarrhea and you need to worry about it as well. So bloatiness with diarrhea, with constipation, you need to be concerned. The most cardinal thing that we also want to look out for is bleeding from the back passage. And then at times when you try and press on your belly, you can feel some lumps. If this has been persistent, it's ongoing for more than six months, please don't stay at home. You need to see your GP, see your doctors about it. Let them start doing some investigations and then refer as necessary. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, we, so with, with the gut, because, you know, a lot of people don't understand the importance of the gut and what the gut, the bowels, the intestines, what, what, what it does. So maybe if you could just briefly just explain what it does so that people, because we're going to move on to um, nutrition and how important it is. But I think that people need to have an understanding um, what the bowel, what does it do and how important is it um, to us? Okay, so basically when you want to talk about the gut, you want to know everything. It's from the mouth to the latter part, the anus. So as individuals, as we eat, from the point of our mouth, when we chew, we, uh, digestion begins. It begins to, uh, food is broken down. So a bad oral hygiene, an infected gum, poor dentition can affect the way your food can be broken down as it goes down into the gullet. You have your esophagus, that's when you swallow the food pipe, it goes through, it gets into your stomach, the stomach churns the food, it's got that tough muscles, that I would put it like a machine mixing it up. It goes through, through into the small intestines, the small intestines have got finger-like projections. That is where exchange of the nutrients take place, where there's supposed to be filtration, it goes into the bloodstream and your body gets to use it. Now, when it gets into the large bowel, the large bowel also absorbs 
most often is absorption of water that takes place in the large bowel. And then that residue that is needs to come out begins forming and then we get our poo out. A good poo, you are expecting it to be nice, browny. A poo is offensive, but very foul poo, it's a big question. And if it's also is coming out as pellets, it's something that we, you need to worry. That's a big, uh, a big change. You're expecting the stew to be nice, soft, sausagey, coming out nice, nicely. So that that is what your your bowel is doing. And as time goes on, all these nutrients, absorption, excretion. I mean, the waste stage coming out, it, it gets to a point that it doesn't really work out well. So if these things does not occur, your body produces bacteria, your body produces toxins, and these toxins, they, they don't need to stay in your body. So whilst they stay there, they, your body begins to react against it. This can bring about a whole lot of disease condition. And as we say, we are not really here going to talk about disease condition. We are here talking about what we can do to promote our gut health. Right. So it's really important then by listening to what you're saying, um, um, you're suggesting that obviously it's important what we eat for, sounds like for a number of reasons in regards to um, the exchange that I, I like how you said that exchange going straight into your bloodstream mm -hmm. okay and then also um, what we eat in regards to um, the bacteria in, in our gut could you just explain a bit about because I understand that you, you do nutrition as well um, could you explain the importance of um is there a difference, first of all, the first question is, that, is there a difference on the way that um, the system works in regards to the women and against the men uh, and children? Are there, are there other differences in that? Um, this is quite um, a tricky one. It's not our system, the way it functions should be the same for everyone, except when by age, things can be a bit different in terms of how we eat and how our body is able to absorb. The only time there will be differences is when there are structural defects or structural differences. For instance, where we have uh, the absorption taking place, there are certain people that they are villi. It's like, you know, when butterflies eat setting fruits, how they leave the appearance, it can happen in the small intestine where the absorption takes place. So it means that for those people, no matter what we are doing, the absorption is going to be less. And so they wouldn't have that experience that much. And that can come from these toxins and uh, bacteria in the body. So they then will begin treatment, which will help them with the absorption. Okay. So what type of, um, so we understand from what you're saying that the gut is very, very important, I guess, because exchange, because I guess that exchange into the bloodstream takes it to every other organ in the body. So what are the things, how important is health and what types of foods or what types of things should we be having inside of our bodies to be able to help our gut health? Because you mentioned about the good bacteria. So are you saying that there's bad bacteria as well? Yes, indeed. There are good bacteria and there are bad bacteria. The good bacteria is that which by nature is within us. We will call it the normal flora. They exist within us. The bad bacteria will be the one that will start causing us harm. And most often when you start to get these bloating symptoms, there is something ongoing. We have something called the helicobacter, which most often when you check the upper, upper and you go into the stomach, you take some tissue samples, they change. When you do an acid reaction, 
their color will change. That will tell you that there are certain bacteria that are habiting there. And for these people, they tend to get this retrosternal pain, uh, the burning sensation. They will be having more of acid reflux. Some of them, it comes as far as into the food pipe with a lot of acid erosions. And there are people that when they have this, they just take it for granted. I, I will have to use this platform as a bit of um, education for all of us. Please take these symptoms very seriously because these things, when they go untreated, they end up being cancer and it can be really nasty. I'm not here to scare anybody, but we need to know. I wish everybody would get to know. Uh, don't take any acid reflux just as an occasion for granted, no. You can watch what you are eating, but in, in as much as you change it, if it's not, if, if it's not um, subsiding, don't, please don't stay at home. So just a bit to add to that. This is really good because I think it's quite educational because I think sometimes, and it's a good thing that we're having this, for those of you, if you want to invite people or share on your Facebook page, that is, um, it's really good and the reason why is because with all due respect in our community a lot of information is not sent out so this is a good platform for you to let other people know and I think the most scariest thing for a lot of people is um, one a lot of people don't like going to doctors you know especially men we will come to that in a minute a lot of men don't like going to <laughs> visiting doctors and um and um, some people are um, in some sort of like um, denial in regards to, and with all due respect, I think this is, this is education and, and thank you for the comments that we can see. It's educational, but I think that we need to really um, educate our community because sometimes we are in some sort of denial until we wait till that condition gets really, really bad. And um, I know that some people are people of faith that I believe in God and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I think that we need to take the appropriate steps. So if we can have a platform where we can actually like this, share this. So if you're, if you're showing this on your Facebook or you're showing it or you're watching it via YouTube, share this so that more and more people can be aware of these type of symptoms, the importance of it and, um, and how we can do the best thing for ourselves as well. So, um, <laughs> so um, let's let's just go. Let's just go back. You've just spoken about um, um, some common things, but in regards to um, this reflux that you're you're talking about, pregnant pregnant women have refluxes as well. Is that something that they should be concerned about? Because some people say that that's natural um, for pregnant women to have this reflux. Now that you've mentioned this, is that something as from a pregnant woman's perspective that they need to be concerned about or that's just natural for pregnancy? I know that you're not a midwife or anything, but just from a... Um, 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 endoscopist, um, just to speak from that perspective. Okay, so it will be good for them to, a pregnant woman to report it. I'm not sure we'll be investigating them as yet because of the hormonal changes that the body goes through. This is bound to happen. And as your belly gets bigger, it pushes up some of the structures like your stomach, it will be, be pushing it up. So it will be more related to structural changes that is going through, the woman goes through. Unlike somebody who is okay-ish, normal and going through all that. Plus, as you, 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 you get pregnant and you grow, you, you become bigger, uh, there's added weight. And most often, this is some of the things that those that have this uh, acid reflux do have in actual uh, fact. They, they, some of them are overweight and this can affect them, the way they are, their system works or how their muscles are relaxing as they breathe in and out. Because what happens is, we have our diaphragm. Unfortunately, I didn't do slides. Please pardon me. I'll come better next time. 
Oh, my so we have we have a line in the rib area, and then there's a, a thick muscle that the stomach comes through in the J form. So as you breathe, the, the you breathe and it's con constricts, it, it ties the neck of the stomach so that things don't spill back. But what happens with this kind of condition, you have some of the stomach herniating up, bulging up. As it squeezes, instead of holding it tight, it, it pushes itself through and causes the acid to be uh, flowing backwards into the food pipe. If you are obese, if you are overweight, this can happen easily because the stomach is just big. You've got more fat there. Things are not relaxing as it, it, it should be. So with a pregnant woman, yes, I may be concerned when it's too much, it's affecting her sleep. She's not eating well. I will get worried about it. She needs to report. There are certain things that can be given to her to ease down the sensation. If she, is, if she has a baby afterwards and is still persistent, yes, it's a big concern. Okay, so you mentioned something that I just want to get a clear understanding for our viewers that are actually here. When you talk about the reflux and the acid, you mentioned something about, is that acid, because obviously the stomach, as I know from my anatomy, the stomach has got um, um, gastric acid and stuff. So if that's refluxing back up to your throat, is that dangerous? The stomach acid coming back up to your throat, is that dangerous? Yes, please. It's, with it uh, being a long time ongoing, it can be dangerous because what it does is it erodes, it corrodes an acid. It will corrode or erode that place over time and that will give you that burning sensation. Um, and what happens is sometimes if it's caused by bacteria in there, then as it comes, keeps coming up, it, it changes the struct, um, the lining of the esophagus. If you've had something like Barrett's esophagus, Barrett's esophagus, it, it can't come from there as the result, it changes the structure, the lining of the esophagus and over time it blows to a cancer. Wow. when not treated yeah wow so that's really important so you mentioned about um this is really interesting so you mentioned about overweight so let's talk about nutrition how important is nutrition i mean we see a lot of people see nutrition is as in okay nutrition i need to get nutrition because i've got to lose weight i've got to get um, good nutrition for all these other good reasons, yes, you want to have clearer skin, you want to live a healthier lifestyle and do those things. But you mentioned, which you've explained even, even more in regards to obese, some people that might, might be overweight, um, having this type of reflux and having this, you know, causing an adverse um, effect on them because they're overweight. So we've, from my understanding, I've got another understanding of why being overweight could potentially be could potentially be dangerous. Apart from the diabetes, apart, you know, we all know about diabetes and all the other things. Now you've actually opened our eyes up to something else of being overweight. So how important is nutrition to our gut? This gut health, please explain. Okay. Um, thanks. It's very, very important. Um, in the sense that I, I would just quote it as simple. You are what you eat. So whatever you see externally is whatever is going on internally. So if you've got a broken outside, there's potential a broken inside as well. So whatever you eat, you take into your body, prepares the whole system from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Your body takes in the nutrients that um, you, you put into you. So if a gut is faulty, in, in the sense of sluggishness, in the sense of bloatiness, in the sense of indigestion, in the sense of 
pains all the time, it means that there is something that is not going on right. The type of food that you may be eating is not right. And now this day and age, most often than not, we would advise fruits, vegetables, and we would advise grains, would have advised you with the seeds and would advise you with the time of eating. And in addition, with uh, we, we add drinking lots of fluids as well. So when you, you, you're talking about um, fruits and vegetables, you want the person to have enough quantity, not a type that you will just have it and you, you'll be, all the nutrients will be lost in it. I, I'm just saying that because we of the African background, most often our style of cooking tries to denature most of the ingredients that uh, most of the minerals and the vitamins that are in the plants that we cook. So um, in this day and age, and with the well systems changing, we, we can go, we've moved on from the five a day to the 10 a day. But really, how are we able to maintain that 10 a day? That is a big question. How are people maintaining it and how um, well and how good are those 10 a day that we're talking about? Is it monotonous? Is it the same fruits over, over, over and over again? Is it the same vegetables over and over again? Some of them that you use gives your body different, um, how does it, different benefits. For instance, I know broccoli. Most people don't like broccoli, but broccoli is good for our gut health. Broccoli will support you on a healthy weight loss journey. When you're talking about building of iron, broccoli is there to help you with building of iron. We come in from Africa that we are used to different kinds of green, leaf, le green leafy vegetables. And when you're talking about energy, when you're talking about building up of iron, you can have kale, which is very rich in iron and rich in plant calcium as well. So anybody that lacks a bit of calcium in the body that you can get from there and then the iron from kale, you can get it. It will help to bring back the iron levels up. Spinach can do that. And it also has an anti-inflammatory property. We are always crying our joints. Some people by nature from Africa background, they are always having joint problems. You can tweak this by what you eat, which can change certain things about your body. And when you're talking about constipation, one of the big issues in gut health, constipation, when your bowel is sluggish, everything about you becomes sluggish. Nobody is talking to you, you are angry because there are toxins being released against your body. Your inside is not clean. You remember our mothers in the past will give us enema to cleanse the lower part of our, of our large bowel. Now, that is not what is, 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 is around. Yours is to have a, a green smoothie made and it will detox you beautifully and bring the level, the, the, the level of your bowel to ground zero for um, absorption, for digestion, for excretion, proper excretion to take place. Uh, we can talk about so many of the nutrients. When you pick an apple, for instance, an apple has so much to offer us. It's good for our cholesterol levels and is good, is rich in some um, vitamin C. It's got its vitamin C level as well. It's got some antioxidants as well. Now I touch on antioxidants. It's, it's like, I want to go into something that we don't really realize that is good for us. When you are stressed, okay, your system doesn't function well. 
and we, you've got the berries. How, mo- how many of us on this platform or listening to us do really go to the shop and say, I want to buy berries. I want to feast on berries. And even if you buy them, how long do you have them? Would it last you more than a week? But we have these berries that have different functions, but the rich property of a berry is an antioxidant. It's level of antioxidants and the rich vitamin C that is in it. Your body needs vitamin C. And your body also has, uh, needs the antioxidants. This antioxidants, the word anti means against, right? So when we are stressed on a busy life, in a normal life, our body cells needs do break down. After every 90 days, it will break down. The body cells break down. And our body cells lives in a fluid and it's got its shell. So as they break down, new ones are formed. But you know what? When your system is not functioning well, these cells break down earlier than the time that it's allocated to break down. And as it breaks down, because your system is not functioning well, your blood is not able to filter well, they begin to stay in your body. Then it starts the headache. Then it starts the joints. Then it starts with belly issues and even become the foundation where the fat gets itself attached to. So we've got all these foreign cells living in there. And what happens? Other things falls into place. Boom. Cancer begins to develop. Boom. Blood pressure. Boom. Cholesterol. But when you eat well and filtration takes place well, excretion takes well, place well, digestion takes place well, you are a happy individual. Your skin begins to glow. Your fingernails will, glow, will grow as it should grow. Your eyesight becomes better. And the worst of it all, when women will be complaining about migraines associated with um, the, the time of the month and bleeding issues here and there, simple things like nutrition does make great change. When you eat, and the, the, uh, the nutrients are absorbed into your system, it begins to work and your blood filters the best part of it and you use it and it become, you become a healthy you. Those of us that work heavy schedules, we are running from one job to another. God forbid, when our body breaks down, it really b- breaks down well. But if you're having good nutrition, my dear, you've got no concerns. You, you, you have less stress or things that will hit others, that will hit them so hard. When you have good nutrition, it doesn't hit you too much. So if you're watching us, if you're listening to us, and you haven't thought about this time and season, changing your lifestyle, not just by trying to eat anything, then you are at the right platform. And you can ask as many questions that you want to ask. The person, wherever you're watching from, get closer to the person, inbox the person. You want to find out what can I eat? What can I use to make me feel better? There are certain fruits that I have never laid my hands on, this day and age, I get to eat them and I enjoy the benefits. Simple cocoa, simple cocoa. It's not the cocoa full of sugar. I'm talking about natural cocoa. Do you know what it does to your body? Do you know? Share it with us, please. Please share share it with us. What does cocoa do, please? Cocoa helps to lower blood pressure. I never knew about that. How it works, I never knew. And it's also rich in some antioxidants as well. And you you want to talk about the artichokes, helping to reduce um, the the heart, the, the, 
the how would I want to put it? The risk at developing heart conditions. You know, there are several of them. You can talk about the anginas. It's not just blood pressure. You can talk about people that have structural defects that has led to their triple bypasses and cabbage, cab cabbages and all those kind of stuff. You talk about things that helps to filter the arteries and the veins. When there is fat deposits, when your cells get breaking down too often, these fat, these things can deposit in your arteries and your veins. They choke them. So your heart then begins to work too hard. But when you eat well, it's just like using a hose into a hole and blowing that out of it over time. It doesn't just happen, but over time, it just, it just, ha it just happens so beautifully. And people are testifying the power of plant-based nutrition. And I would forever, I would forever encourage everyone. The meat is good. The fish is good. Add plants to it. Do it more. And you would see that your system will change. You Maybe you are cooking, but in your cooking, you might destroy them. So find a way of making things work better for you. Sister Olivia. Yeah. Mm. Okay, Jemima, that is just beautiful. You're telling us about, come on guys. She's telling us about these fruits and vegetables, these cocos and stuff like that. Let's be realistic, come on. I mean, we're living in the 21st century right now. Mm. Let's be realistic. It sounds really good. This sounds like, really those people that can afford it, this people that can, you know, healthy living, getting all these fruits and vegetables that you're talking about, you know, realistically, I mean, there are many people that are watching on Facebook, there are many people watching on YouTube, there are many people here, come on, realistically, how is that possible? How, uh, how are we able to get all these fruits and vegetables inside of us to benefit? Is there another way that we can get this nutrition that you are talking about inside of us? Because for many that are watching around the globe, buying, going to the shops and buying all this thing, having the time, finding it, where can we get this? Where can we get that? It's not realistic. Is there another way? Please let us know if there's another way that we can get this good nutrition inside of our guts so that we can prevent, you know, we can start living this healthier lifestyle. Please, what, what is it? Is there another way? Okay, um, thanks. Maybe if I'm pushed now, I can, I can just give ourselves a hint and a gist about what you can do. Um, for those of you who are watching and thinking, ha, ah, there they go again, fruits and vegetables. I've eaten them, I eat them, I buy them. Hear me and hear me well again. The fruits and vegetables that you buy, how are they produced? How are they grown? Under what conditions are they grown? And how long have they been sitting on those shelves before you lay your hands on? Are they the original? Or they are just genetically modified for your use? And when you get them, do they denature? I find it hard when people tell me I eat fruits and vegetables, you go away with all, all those, your stories and blah, blah, blah. Well, I've benefited, so I'm gonna share it for you to know that it works. For somebody to even have a fatty liver and telling me, guess what? The doctor is saying that it's no more there. I am proud, I've saved a life. You have been cutting fruit all your life. This day and age, fruit and vegetables are expensive. Everything is gone up. If your children love fruits and vegetables like mine, then you are more, more, more in trouble. You know what? 
life has been made so simple. It's called the juice blast. Just carry it, take it with you wherever you're going. It is some nutrition just made simple for your consumption. I don't know how I can have 30 different fruits and vegetables in this. I don't know how. And if you heard me talk about berries, my dear, there are so much berries in this. There is blackcurrant here, which I know most of us don't have them. There is blackberry, rich in antioxidants and will help to fight cancers. You heard me talking about cancers that as a result of toxins, productivity, excess activity in our gut and our guts not being cleansed, these things can lead on to cancers. Sometimes dual hereditary, it can be due to simple lifestyle. You may be eating a lot of carbohydrates. You eat a lot of fruit. You eat a lot of meat, red meat. You eat a lot of fish, um, sorry, chicken. You don't think about the vegetable aspect of it, which comes to gel with things and changes. I will entreat you. You need these berries to help your system develop good soldiers to fight your body of illnesses and diseases. I've got vegetables here. Some of us, we are used to our green leafy vegetables so much that even when they are giving us this, we don't budge. Your spinach is here. Your kale is here. Your broccoli is in here. I've got carrots and I've got tomatoes. Who dare knew tomato is good for our skin? Who knew? And even for our heart muscles, who knew? Well, you get to hear it today. You've got children that have got eczema, even adults with eczema, psoriasis, my dear. You know what? I'm not saying that it treats diseases or it treats these condi uh, disease conditions or use this as medication. But I want to open our eyes that in this 21st century, every doctor will promote healthy living. If you go to them, then they, they tell you you are borderline diabetes, they refer you back to dietitian, they will refer you back to your lifestyle. That is why we are at your doorstep with this lifestyle, just to say incorporate this into your way of living to make you better. We've got the fruits here. We've got the mangoes in there. We've got the cranberry in there. The last time that I checked, when you have a can cranberry, it's full of natural antibiotic. That is why this is backed by research. Mm -hmm. 44 different kinds of research. For those of us that are evidence-based inclined, there is an evidence of its effectiveness on your body. If you want more scientific proof, do not hesitate to contact anybody, the platforms that you're watching, so that the evidence can be given to you. Now, hear it and hear it well. This is not a multivitamin. This is not meant to treat disease condition. It's just food supplement. Use it to bridge the gap between what you are eating and what you like in, you, like in your diet. It's as simple as ABCD. But what I love about it is it's so handy, right? When I'm going on a holiday, I don't need to carry bags and bags full of fruits and vegetables. I can go and eat, but then I know I'm covered because I've got 30 different fruits and vegetables in here. And I always smile when I say that. People have used it Dentition problem, dental plugs problem, sensitive teeth problems, these have helped them to reduce those issues. And when you talk about the joints, oh my days. Loads and loads of medication have been cut back. I will forever join that preventative doctor saying, treat disease conditions by prevention and asking people to eat food. Healthy food, of course. Have you heard about something called omegas before? 
And do you love Omegas? Do you love them? I do. I love them. <laughs> I really, really, really do. Hey, my dear. There you go. Nice gold colored for you. And the beauty of it is it's natural, all plant. Okay. Maybe you have omegas. Well, good for you. But I come to you with a good sauce, natural. The algae that the fish will eat and they will extract and give to you as your omega-3. Well, you've got the real direct sauce in here. And thus you got five. You see, buy one, get five. Yeah, omega-3, <laughs> omega-5, six, seven, and then nine. You know what? All these things have their benefits. Most importantly is the effects that it has on your heart and also helping to control your cholesterol levels. But there are some other ingredients there that you need to know. Promagnate seed oil. Do you eat promagnate at all? They are there in, in the market, on the shop. How long they stay? I remember I bought one, two weeks. They are still what it is. Do you know what? But I'm not sure that if I'm eating it, I'll get the nutrients as you'll get here. From the manufacturer, right, processing, denatured, all the pulp, all the nutrients, they are at the state where the enzymes are active for your body. It is not just eating fruit, but when you are eating them, the enzymes need to be there. If you come from Africa, you grew up in Africa, when you plug a mango from a mango tree and you eat it, it's different from you plugging the mango and keeping it for you to ripen it, right? That is what I'm telling you. These ones, you get them all vine ripened for your use. Now, the, the interesting aspect is women. Again, not just women, because the, <laughs> the testimony for men is even super, super. You know, when, when it, 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 something changes, a, a dry room, eh? a dry room, okay, <laughs> into a wet room. That is what I'm talking about. When, when things become, uh, life becomes so juicy again, and something, it, it becomes like the first love is back, right? Mm. There is something in this that does it that is helping the, the hormones respond back again. It's got safflower seed in it. And that is one of the function of safflower seed. Those of us that buy evening primrose with safflower, my dear, you've got everything here. Yeah, it's combined. You've got something that is going to tone your skin and improve your collagen. Those of us who have been abusing us, just mask ladies are looking. <laughs> My dear, we are looking good. Our skin is toned. 10 years, our life has been taking 10 years back. Come on. Girls, it's summertime. Those that are ready, begin. Let's get ready to flaunt it. You see, you've worked hard for it. We are not saying come and take it two days, you are there. We've been on it, some of us, one year, two years, six months, even four weeks, you still can see the difference. The best part of it is because of how the, it's processed or it's made. I was talking about you taking it into your mouth. Yeah. You getting into your stomach to be broken down. Now your small intestines work and blah, blah, blah. By the time it gets there, my dear, it's ready. Okay? So your blood says, welcome, my dear. Welcome. I love you. And go straight into your bloodstream. Okay? And then it begins its action. That is why it makes it so different from a multivitamin. Before a multivitamin will get into you and it is broken down, once it's broken down, because the substance they put in, they put in is genetically modified, it needs to be isolated. The liver needs to process it before it gets into your bloodstream. So your liver has got a job to do. This one, liver has no job to do. When the liver has finished its job in a multivitamin, it needs to get to the kidneys. The kidney needs to excrete the dead waste product. That is why somebody with a kidney problem, go to the doctor, 
once they have been pre-assessed, they have been educated, they are, they are told you can have them. I'm not saying this is for everybody, but for fruits and vegetables, 99.9% .9 of people can enjoy them free of charge without thinking of anything, except if you are allergic. Because I come from a health background, I know it's not everything that agrees to everyone's body, but it does perform what it's supposed to perform. I won't say much. Something that is good sells for itself. If you can guess my age, I'll be very happy. But you know what? I feel good. I've got toned skin. Yeah? Come, come, come and enjoy the benefits of this amazing product. Thank you. Wow. I just, I just love what you're saying, um, Jemima. And the great thing is, is that, you know, with all this, that those of you that are watching whatever platform that you may be watching, our products are not medication. She's mentioned that. But my thing is, and this is the honest truth, and I think that this is where we've all got to re-educate ourselves. And I'm sure the doctors and the medical um, people will be much happier with us. Is that the thing is, it's not just about nutrition. It's about getting the good nutrition. And as Jemima has said, good nutrition in a nutshell is good. If you can get the right good nutrition inside of yours, and it's bioavailable that can go to straight to our bloodstream, doesn't need to go through all that, you know, going, being digested, going through the liver, being filtered through the liver, being filtered through the kidneys and stuff, but goes directly into your bloodstream. This is why we do not make any medical claims. However, I will stand to say, I do make nutritional claims. Nutritional claims is that when you get the right nutrition, that is why people around the world, that's why health medical staff are saying, living a healthier lifestyle. Why? Because indirectly, they are telling you about nutritional claims. If you get the right nutrition inside of you, you use it in the right way. And when we're talking about right nutrition, we're not just talking about the fruits and the vegetables that you get in, your, in the supermarket, still have that. But to have these amazing products that can bridge the gap to what you are having and having something that is bioavailable, that can go straight to your bloodstream, that can start working with your body <clears throat> so that you can start getting those amazing results by living that healthier lifestyle in a convenient way. She said she could take it to holiday. When she goes on holiday, she can pack them under her bags and take it, take it on um take it with her on holidays. That's the greatness. The greatness is that you could take this good nutrition, good nutrition on the go. And, you know, practically everyone, even children. I mean, we're talking about adults now in regards to good nutrition. And, you know, talk about the, um, the products in regards to um, the children, because there might be some children that, that can't take these, I mean, I, I assume I know what they are, but just for the benefits of those that are watching, they're capsules, okay? They're capsules that are actually put into um, powder forms for our consumptions. And then um, we've got the chewables as well. Just talk through a little bit about the chew, because at the end of the day, good nutrition is for everyone. It's not just for women. It's not just for men. It's also for children. And even more importantly, the unborn child as well. And what I love about our products is that even those that are planning, I always say to people, you know, those people that are trying to get pregnant, that are looking, um, you know, trying to get pregnant, but in, in regards to having a child, I think the responsibility of a parent starts before you even conceive. So for those of you that are, that are watching right now, watching via Facebook or watching via YouTube or here in the Zoom today, and you're looking right, okay, I'm, I'm planning a family. Then to be a parent, before you even conceive, you have to take the responsibility. And that responsibility, I believe, is looking after yourself before you even conceive. 
making sure you've got the right nutrition before you can see, preparing your body, because that is your responsibility to make sure that you are at the healthiest um, place possible so that when you do take in, conceive, that that baby can stay sustainable. So it's the responsibility. But in regards to children, what have, we, have you got anything there that you can show us or tell us about in regards to the children? Okay. How, how I wish um, I knew this before time, but I just ported one close to me, so I've got it. So for all these that you saw, these 30 different fruits and vegetables, they are made in a capsule form. And like we've said, it's just helping you to bridge the gap between what you are eating and what you lack in your diet. So we have this in the same format for children. Even for an adult that is thinking, me, I can't swallow. I don't like swallowing. You don't like swallowing, fine. There are so many ways you can take this. It's not a hard, and, there's no hard and fast route. But for the children, I've got one packet here to show you. We call them the chewables. Some children do have gummy bears, all right? So as parents, we have been blessed. And I repeat, blessed to have these in a form of gummy bears, but in actual fact, it is nutrition for them. So if you can see, this is how, this is a fruit one, and this is how it looks like. So there is cranberry in this, there are apples in this, there are mangoes in this. Um, I'm trying to recollect more and more, let's see which one. Um, so there are oranges. Yes, I remember now. There, there's big roots in it. And there are pineapples as well. Do you know what pineapple does to your body? There are certain children, no matter what you do, they won't touch any fruit. So you get this to give them. And the other one is green as well. This color that you're seeing is original color. It's not, there's no preservatives. This one is soy free and there is, is gluten-free. I love the fact that it's soy-free because certain children with food allergies are allergic to soy as well. It means that most of them, almost all, every child can enjoy the benefits of these fruits and vegetables. Giving your child broccoli, how hard or how difficult is that? Imagine having broccoli disguised in a form of gummy bear for your child. Your, the child will be growing healthy and healthy. The last time I checked with my children, do I say, mommy, ever since I started using this, I sleep better. Ever since I started doing this, when I go to school, I concentrate. And when it comes to activity, I'm able to do better. I don't get tired easily. This is just because of what nutrition can do to your body. So the children can get it. From four to 14 years, you get to enjoy too. If you're an adult, you've got sweet tooth, you want to enjoy, you can have four of each a day simple nutrition. Mm -hmm. Wow. Just, I, I just love that. I mean, there, I know that there must be some people here today and just for the benefits If anybody wants to, you know, has ever had, if there's anyone here on the call that's ever had an endoscopy or, um, and would like to just briefly, like one minute or two, just share or anybody that's had some sort of bowel problem um, and, how, you know, living a healthier lifestyle by using these amazing products have actually supported them. Could you just raise by, showing by raising your hand, I will unmute you and you could just quickly share just for the um, benefits of those people watching via Facebook or YouTube or those people that are here um, today. Has anybody had the experience that would love to share that? Please raise your hand so that I can see. Um, I don't mean literally raise your hands. I mean, um, use the Zoom. Uh, to because I won't be able to see if you raise your hand like that. Anybody? I was wondering if um I could see that um from that um she she was given one. I could see Florence. So let's just unmute Florence. She's gonna just give just like one minute of what you would just want to share in regards to um that. Um and I can see Angela and then I um, wonder if first so I'm gonna unmute um Florence first and then um and then she could just um 
Hi, Florence. You can unmute yourself. Okay. Hi, Olivia. Sorry, I haven't got my camera on. I'm, <laughs> I'm halfway in bed, so I apologize for that. Okay. Um, thank you for understanding. So um, in the past, I've always had um, a very lazy bowel, I used to call it. And being a nurse, I'd tried everything. Um, there's a time I was at work and uh, I just resorted to having Sina and Lactulose. I was so lucky that I had a friend who was a colorectal nurse that said, you know what, just stop taking that because the problem is the more you take that, your bowel will get so dependent on that, that if you don't have it, you don't go. And that's exactly what happened. So I stopped doing that. Um, tried drinking water, tried having fruits, the normal fruits that everyone is saying they're having, but nothing changed. Then I resulted to decolux. Decolux, if you know that it's another laxative and well that used to help but if I didn't have it I didn't go so I said how long am I going to carry on like this I was so bloated but as nurses we always give an excuse for every problem or maybe I'm not drinking enough or I'm not eating on time or I'm not no, no. so I was just giving an excuse for this bad problem that I had not knowing so it just carried on and I got so uncomfortable that at sometimes you just feel like doing an enema on yourself or manual ex um, evacuation which is so embarrassing so until um, 2020, I thank God for COVID because people are going about COVID, but to me, it grounded me that I was more on Facebook. Um, that's when I saw my upline talking about um, products, the Juice Plus products. So I only took the Juice Plus products because I needed energy, nothing to do with the bowel obstruction or lazy bowel had become a permanent thing. And I thought I just was leaving with it. So I started taking just plus of course within the first week I had the energy surge so I carried on but then what I noticed three weeks later I started getting a bit regular with my bowels and I'd already told a friend about Ducolax so she was taking the Ducolax so when she asked me are you still taking Ducolax I said no I'm not I'm now doing just plus you said what is it so I said, oh, you could actually get some yourself. So by then, uh, my upline had got me to join. So I joined Just Plus. So she then ordered premium capsules from me and she started going regularly. So at present, I'm so regular that to me, I just feel like taking little, little selfies of your, your number two. Like to me, it's a big thing because I'd suffered for so long. I just feel like taking little pictures and posting them, which of course you can't. But it's a big achievement because I used to envy people that used to go and have a bowels open every day. But now I go five times a day. Or sometimes if you're so busy, you don't have a chance to go to the toilet, but you still want to go. It's not like before you'd sit in the toilet for hours trying to go. So for people that say that, oh, we're having fruits and vegetables, we're doing that. I was doing all that already, but I needed something like the lady just explained the actual um, nutrition of value in the premium capsules. Yes, we do the vegetables, but we don't know how long they've stayed on the shelf for and how nutritious they are. So in regards to having my bowel regular now, premium capsules have really helped. The fact that you've got the fruits, you've got the vegetable blend, you've got the berries. So we don't realize how much the fruits do and how much the vegetable blend does as well because it's all alkaline so it got rid of all the inflammation and also helped me be regular so i'll stop here because to me it's a big excitement i could talk about my bowels for the whole day because that's been a big huge achievement wow. and that's the, yeah thank you so much florence i mean jemima <laughs> jemima i mean this is something that is really really common i mean florence uh, thank you because she's a nurse all right <laughs> Women do it, men do it as well, but women, we are bloated. We just accept it that we are that we are bloated. This is this is just us. And and like, you know, someone that is from the health profession is saying she takes fruits and vegetables. She knows that she needs to take fruits and vegetables, but even that was not helping. Just like what you explained already, how the products are made, you know, being bioavailable, and that's the key to good nutrition as well, is that bioavailableness that can go straight into your bloodstream and that can start working. Thank you so much. I mean, Jemima, have you got any comments on, on what Florence has said there? Um, and she's just hit the nail right on the head again for us. Um, 
nutrition is not just eating, but it needs to be good. And once she laid her hands on the good nutrients, then her bowel symptom changed. You are having something, let's say for instance, you eat orange and you just take the juice, you throw the pulp away. Juice Plus gives you the pulp, gives you juice. So that is where the distinction is. Some people will eat apple, but it gets to a bed, the child they will throw away. They eat certain fruits, it gets to a bed of the child they throw away. So you're talking about whole food-based nutrition where you get everything inside. Uh, the plant, uh, I love the the fact that the plant enzymes and the polyphenols, they are in there. And that is what you need. Like when you eat red meat, you're expecting it to help build your iron. Plants have got their qualities as well. There are things in them that helps your body. And that is what you are getting. And that makes the difference. It's as simple as ABCD. Wow, thank you. We've got Angela next. Let me just um, unmute Angela. Um, Oh, she's got her camera on so I can bring her onto the spotlight. So let me just lower Florence and let's bring um, Angela. Um, I'll set a mute. And then um, let me just bring so that people can see you oh. on the spotlight. So um, hi, Angela, please um, share with us. Um, what do you want to share with us, your experience? Thank you so much, Olivia. And thank you so much, Jemima. You've actually educated us. Even though I'm a nurse, I'm a midwife, but at least it's like, this is your specialty. So you've actually get, actually went in depth into what we call good nutrition. For me, trust me, um, <laughs> my own story is like, it's so scary because we all know that health, health professionals, they don't look after themselves. And for me, when I experienced this issue, was when I was in Qatar. And um, I always say, I cannot, I cannot give my testimony without measuring Qatar because that's where I started from. So um, I remember one day I was having like um, lower abdominal pain where they said I've got um, PID, which is pelvic inflammatory disease, which I was like, oh my goodness, what's happening? So I went to see my doctor and then the doctor prescribed um, doxycycline for me, which we all know is anti-malarial and it's got so many benefits that you can get from that. So, um, and it's antibiotics as well. And um, I did not know that the, this um, doxycycline that I took wants to destroy my life entirely. So I was on it, I think the prisca, I think I was supposed to take the, um, the cap for like for, um, two weeks. And then I'll have to go back and then review and make sure everything is fine. So I started, I think two or three days, I started having this chest pain, severe chest pain. And I was a bit scared because I've already had angiogram before because I was diagnosed with having um, high cholesterol. And um, so I thought maybe I'm gonna have something like the way I was before. So I was like, okay. So one day I went to work even though I was taking the, the, the prescribed um, medication, I went to work and then one of our consultants was asking me, oh, I've not been seeing you around, are you okay? I said, no, I'm not, I've been off sick. And he asked me what happened and I explained to him. And he said, what are you taking? I said, it's the doxycycline. Um, doxycycline. And he said, can you please stop it now? And that was, I think that was my fifth day. And I was supposed to take it that night because I went to do a night shift. And he said, stop it now. And I stopped it. And because I was still having the pain, I almost passed out. So they had to take me to the hospital. And whilst I was, no, before they took me to the hospital, they thought like I was going to have cardiac arrest because of all my symptoms I was having. I was having chest pain, like getting to my left arm, blah, blah. It's like, it was too much. So they gave me aspirin, they did all whatever, they did ECG on me to make sure everything is fine. They said, everything is okay. But my blood pressure was high, but that was because of the pain. So I went to the hospital, they did all the blood tests, everything, everything was okay. And lo and behold, they said, okay, you're still having this pain. 
given um um what do you call this um morphine yeah all that morph they gave me all that morph i said you guys are joking i remember the lady gave me 10 milligram 10 milligram is like five meals i said you don't even know the pain i'm going through i said i ah, please can you add it i cannot take that the pain was too much even morphine all that morph the 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 i am cannot i cannot the pain was there and they said they don't know what was happening so they had to refer me for me to go and go to go and do um, endoscopy. That was my first time doing that. And guess what they found? I had gastritis, I had esophagitis. I had, they found out I've got H. pylori. At the same time, it was a bit scary. And I was like, where is this coming from? So I had to take the treatment that they prescribed everything. I was in hospital for five days. And that was when I saw this, I got this opportunity. You see, sometimes God see, see what we're going through and they will send something good to you. And that's when I found this, this product on Facebook with Constance. Then um, when I got home, I started taking this product like one week during, during, whilst I was doing the business. And there was one thing I, I noticed. It's like the pain I used to have just disappeared. I was like, wow. Okay, but I'm supposed to go back for a follow-up to see my doctor. And they did a stool test, they did a whatever, whatever test because of my, my iron level was low as well. And then because of the H. pylori, you can only find that from the stool. So I had to do a stool test and they said I had to go back after 10, 10 days. And when I went, that was when the, 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 the miracle happened. When I went and the woman said, the doctor said, oh, your test results are okay. It's like, wow, that means your medication is really working. I said, sorry, what, what did you say? They said, the medication that we prescribed for you is really, I said, sorry, it's not your medication. She said, what do you mean? So what have you been taking? I said, I've not been taking the prescribed medication you gave me. I've been taking my juice plus. Said, what is juice plus? I said, fruits and vegetables. I sh <laughs> She couldn't believe the H. pylori result came out negative. Everything was negative. You understand? Since then, I cannot live without my dress floors. That one, I won't like. I cannot because the comforts I'm in right now and the way I was before, it was too much. And thank you so much for this lectures too. Today, like you were talking as if you were really talking to me this night. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Olivia. Wow. That is just so amazing. The power of good nutrition. And guys, if you're watching, okay, if you're listening and you're watching, I'm here, whether you're watching now or later on, we do not make any medical claims. We make nutritional claims. Jemima's already explained something, and this is really important. And those of you that are actually um, in the business, um, if you want to explain, our products are bioavailable. And she's explained how they go from the intestines straight, not going through the liver, not going through the kidneys, it goes straight to your bloodstream. Now, if there's a deficiency and it's working, good nutrition, you're getting that good nutrition, not medication, good nutrition inside of you, going straight. This is a power of amazing good nutrition. So if you are, you know, you're on medication, we're not asking you to stop your medication, still take your medication, but uh, we, we are here to encourage you, take these amazing products that is going to be bioavailable, that is going to go straight into your bloodstream, that will start working alongside your healthier lifestyle. I mean, Jemima, come on. You've heard Angela. I mean, it's like, I mean, thank you for sharing this. Thank you for, you know, really explaining. But now I always used to tell people good nutrition is, is good. But now you've really broken it down for us to really understand and for us to spread the news, how important good nutrition is just absolutely good. And our products that are bioavailable, that's getting all those in nutrients and stuff. Please, what is your comments on what Angela's just said there? Wow. Um, thanks again, Sister Angela. I can't, I can't, having seen a lot of patients and um, in this kind of state, honestly, it's hard. Sometimes um, 
being a professional is so difficult. You know there's something that can help. You have seen this patient over these people over and over again. Their symptoms remain the same, but it's difficult. All that you can tell them is go and eat, check what you are eating and blah, blah, blah. I wish professionally and ethically I can do that to tell them, look, I laid my hands on this product or I've got people to use this and it's changed them. But we are here on this platform and you are listening to us. You had the condition that Sister Angela had, people have had it and they, it turned into something else. They are no more. Or oh, some of them are still living with that condition and in pain. Please, it's just fruits and vegetables we are telling you. You just see me, yeah, as the lady who has left their needle or the injections in the hospital, have left the machines in the hospital and have brought the other side of life to you that eat healthy, get something that is more nutritious for your body to get good results so that we don't see you at the hospital. I don't want to see you. I don't want to be treating disease conditions. I want to be preventing it. But adventure, it doesn't and you can't, that's fine. But take care of your body. Give yourself this good nutrition. It does, it does really work. And again, it's not treating the condition. It is just making symptoms better. And in that process, in that journey, it changes certain things. It becomes like a never go to again. Mm -hmm. All those medication, those painkillers that are actually giving you more issues, they change. Sometimes the constipation you are getting is as a result of joint pains because the painkiller is giving you constipation. So why would you not want to eat healthy to treat that constipation and again, help with your joints? You know, you get what I mean? Because the, the, the ingredients in the foods that you're eating is helping you minimize the effect of certain things on your body. So I beg of all of us, let's do it together. Let's get a healthy community. The less we have, the better. And for bowel symptoms, please don't ever, ever ignore them. Wow. Blood, bloatiness. When you press your abdomen, you can feel lumps. If this is ongoing for more than three months, don't stay at home. Get checked. Don't assume the blood is hemorrhoids. Women here, please listen to me. Do not assume you've carried pregnancy and because of that, you've got hemorrhoids. Almost every woman has got it. Almost every man has got it. Don't underestimate the presence of blood in your poo as a result of you may be straining at stool because you have constipation. Don't ignore the bloatiness. Don't ignore the bad breath. Don't ignore reflux. Mm -hmm. Don't ignore abdominal pain. Thank you. Wow. I mean, I mean, I don't know where Fumi, Fumi seems like Fumi's put her hand down. She, she, she ran away. But um, I mean, we've just had um, time well spent here. I mean, Guys, I mean, this is just absolutely just amazing. And I think it's really important that we start bringing awareness, more awareness um, in regards to our community. You see, for those of you that might be watching on anybody's um, platform in regards to this, that are, um, you know, franchise partners in this amazing, uh, I'm still here. Okay, let me just hear quickly from Fumi. Just raise your hand for me. I, I can't see your hand raised. Could you put your hand down? There you go. Let me just quickly unmute her and then we just then we'll just end. So for me, you can unmute yourself. Are you able to put your camera on for me? Okay. Um, yeah, I will. Let me just uh... okay. Hey, hello everyone. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah. All right. Good, good, good. Wow. Jemima, well done. 
you know why you started that topic is like you're just talking to me because like two months ago I was in the uh, Edo copy what's it called <laughs> you know when they oh, were topic. passing that thing into my through my back and you know I can see it all in the camera and like seriously you know and I've been on the queue to go to that <laughs> to go to that appointment for almost a year before the um before the pandemic started, I was supposed to go in towards end of the March, but I wasn't able to during the pandemic and all that. So they keep postponing it and pushing it until two months ago. But the, I'll just share a few of my testimony, not taking too much of your time. When I usually I taught um what's it called? Um constipations, I thought it's normal thing because I've been constipated all my life. So I thought it's just something that is normal. I've been in and out of the hospital. They will do this, they do that. They're giving me that, uh, uh, is it Anosol? They have to pass, you know, that thing is so annoying <laughs> before I could go. And then there was a time they are giving me enema. That's one. I wasn't, I wouldn't even bother because it's so really irritating, you know, by doing that by yourself, if you know what enema is, you know. So that's how bad I was to be able to go to toilet. But when I started on this product, the first few things I noticed was my energy, my pain start going down, and the toilet, I start going to the toilet normal. So I thought, am I doing anything different? I did not know that it was this uh, capsules that I was taking because I was taking the three of them first. So that was the first few things I noticed in my system then. Then when I heard people sharing testimony, that is when I now know that the power of good nutrition you can't joke with it. It's really, really good. If you are here tonight, if you think that we're joking, we don't know what we're talking about, honestly, forget about how I speak my own English. But this thing, we die here because nothing will stop me from taking it. So I went to that uh, appointment two months ago and they did the test. They said there's uh, something called a, a emerald or something. Hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids. So yeah, they have to cut it, right? Uh, they yeah, they, yes, so they caught one and took to the library to do tests. It took like 14 days before I get the that, result. That might be polyps. Polyps, yes, thank you. Polyps, yes. <laughs> you know, you know? Mm -hmm. so but coming back, they said it's okay that I'm, I'm fine, that that cannot grow anymore. But I believe that before that, because the pain I was having and all what was going on in my system, definitely if I go early that last year, March, there will be more to it than this two months ago. So this product, I'm really grateful for even knowing about this product. I've been ignorant. I've been not know. maybe I don't even know what to call myself for not going on this product because I've heard about it for like over four years. So, but thank God for the pandemic that make me think that the whole world is going to end. So let me just do something. Then I went to this and then, Thank God, because some people gave me again from this pandemic. Thank God, you can see it. So that's just my few testimony. Thank you so much, uh, Olivia, for this opportunity. Thank you for bringing this amazing lady to uh, educate us on this uh, topic. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you for me. That was good. Um, so, so amazing. Do you, me, do you want to comment on that before I end? Or... Um, <laughs> um, so uh, she basically had a procedure. There's something that she mentioned, which I want to throw light on. Once, when we were talking, I mentioned about weight. We've mentioned about our lifestyle, what we are eating. And she mentioned the fact that during the procedure, they removed polyps. Now these polyps, I can, I, will, I can liken it to fibroids in the womb. I can liken it to things that grow on the body where the dermatologist will call it a different name. The same thing is happening in the bowel. And these polyps, when, once they stay there over time, they grow to develop into a cancer. So I would say you went there for something else, but that was a blessing in disguise. If it was if small, 
we don't know, but we know with over 10 year history, yes, this can be a blown out something. I just, because I have that passion in that field, I want to use this black, uh, platform to sound an alarm for everybody. Bowel symptoms is something that you don't ignore because it's a silent killer. I guess you all know by now the third killing in cancer in, in the United Kingdom or even globally. So I want to plead with everyone, please, Eat healthily, don't ignore your bowel symptoms, and at least every month do a detox. I said, I am, I'm, I'm sorry, I should have brought you the chart that shows you where the toxins are and what it does to our body. I want to plead with everyone, even if you are with us or you're not with us, learn to do a detox. Bring your bowels to ground zero for every month as you start so that your body can come back to the basis of absorption, of assimilation, excretion, okay? And thank you for sharing that. I love the fact that the polyp came out because it's not a platform for me to be talking about polyps, but that is where the meaty part of bowel symptoms of gut health issues are. Thank you so much. What define pooping mucus? When you poop mucus, it can be as a result of you being constipated. Plus another thing, when you've got ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease, these are conditions that affect the bowel wall lining. Uh, you can have an ulcer right from the cecum to the tail end. And then once you poop, you poop, you can poop mucus and you can poop blood. That needs to be checked as well because as the structural changes go along, if it is not dealt with properly, because of the exchange that takes place, your whole bowel, you can develop a cancer as a result of it. I keep saying we're cancer, cancer, because that is the end result of any bowel symptoms that starts and is not well dealt with. Wow. This is, this is serious stuff. I'm just so happy, Jemima. I'm just like, this was just definitely, this was God that told us to actually have this because by having this Zoom, we are saving lives. If you are in the Juice Plus business right now, I'm hoping that you are sharing this video. We are saving lives through our community, especially our community. Because you know what? Sometimes we can become very, very ignorant. And with all due respect, and please don't get me in the wrong way, is that sometimes we spiritualize things and we are praying, 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 and we don't really seek help. And now we're telling you that help, understand these type of symptoms that she said, get this thing checked out, but changing your lifestyle. Now we know as people that are, you know, sometimes we do this business and we don't have so much, it's good sometimes, and this is gonna be a regular thing. We're gonna be getting experts coming in to speak. The importance, it's good. I didn't wanna just bring, you know, we could talk about our products, how amazing our products are, but bring an expert, a specialist to come in so that you can understand, so that people can understand wherever you're watching, whether you're Facebook or YouTube or anybody's platform, understand the importance. When we talk about good nutrition, we're not just talking about it just for us to make, you know, just to make money. We need to re-educate our community, our people. There are symptoms, there are signs of things that we need to get checked out. But the bottom line to this is good nutrition, is getting the right nutrition inside of you. And I will repeat and say, good nutrition is just good. Yeah. The question is, where do I get my good nutrition from? The fruits and the vegetables, we know that is good nutrition is not enough that you get in your supermarket. There must be something that can bridge that gap so that your nutrition that you get in your supermarket or stores or wherever, linking it to the goodness and the goodness our products can support you in doing so. So, you know, wherever you're watching right now,
please, if you're watching from anybody's platform, please go back to them. Don't sit down. You've heard Jemima say, don't sit down and um, yeah, 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 yeah. Start making that change yourself. Start making that change by getting onto, by changing your lifestyle, getting these products to support you in living that healthier lifestyle. The really, really important thing that you said that was quite really um, educational is doing a detox every single month detox and explaining the reason why i mean some of us we do detox detoxing but understanding in regards to our guts our gut health and understanding the importance of detox we know yeah i used to say well detoxing yeah because you know what you want to detox your liver filter out your liver and stuff like that but really one of the main things is detoxing and really um in regards to our gut in, in regards to our intestines so now we are educated. Now we know a little bit more. Let's go out there as ambassadors of inspiring healthy living around the world. And let's do it with the, with the understanding of what we know today and letting and helping people, helping our community. We're out there to not only inspire, but to really encourage, you know, brothers and sisters, and not just only our community, but out there in the world, to people to take those steps to live in a healthier lifestyle. And our amazing products that are convenient can support people in doing that. Um, it's just, it's just, I mean, we could stay here for for forever, but we know that we've got to do other things. But Jemima, thank you so, so much for this. And thank you for educating us. And now we're better equipped by um, what we need to say and better equipped to be able to change our community, to help to explain to our friends, our families, our colleagues about good nutrition and the importance of good nutrition especially in regards to our gut health. Um, thank you so much. Just one last thing. What is the last word that you would like to share to, um, to, to um, anyone that is watching right now or here in the Zoom? What are your last um, thoughts or words? So, um, like you've been saying, nutrition is good. But the fact that you need to eat doesn't mean you need to eat anything give yourself the best and your body will thank you give yourself the best your gut will thank you give yourself the best and you have fewer visits to the doctors you are what you eat thank you beautiful so you've heard it all you are what you eat so let's get good nutrition and our products can support you in so if you're watching over anybody's facebook page or social media page please if they're sharing it please go back to that person ask them how can i get my hands you cannot get these products in the shops by the way so don't go and say oh 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 i want to go to the shops um, i'm gonna buy it and let me just give a little bit of um, advice and just tips Okay, when um, our products are what we call A class, all right, you can only really buy our products by somebody that is a um, franchise um, partner in the Juice Plus company. Please, my advice will be, and I would really encourage, do not go on eBay, do not go on Amazon to buy those products. And the reason why is because when you buy it from a person that is um, a franchise partner, Okay, they get it directly from the company and we know that it's safe for you. When you buy it from all these other, um, you can't get it from the shops and you get it from the eBay or you get it from Amazon and stuff like that. There is no, there's no, um, you know, it's not safe. You don't know where it's coming from and we cannot guarantee in, in, this, in, in the sense when it comes directly from the company itself. So my advice would be anybody that is sharing this on their platform today, please go back to them. If you're interested, go back to them, ask them, please explain a little bit more. How can I get my hands on these amazing products that can support me in living a healthier lifestyle? And the other great thing is, is that it's not just about that. That person would also share some other tips that they would be able to advise you on in regards to these products. So um, guys, 
thank you so much. Jemima, thank you so much for jumping on and really explaining this. Um, for all of you that came on to the Zoom, I really appreciate every single one of you. Um, all my business partners, you're all my business partners, and I really am so humbled to be amongst so many amazing men and women around the globe that we are doing something that is so positive. Um, you know, we are not being part of the problem, we're being part of the solution. And that gives us the drive to be able to reach out further and beyond than ever before. So let's continue to do what we're doing. Let's continue to inspire healthy living around the world. Let's continue to be great ambassadors and let's continue to bring that positive change around the world. So thank you so much for all our business partners that have joined us today. My really humbleness and thank you so much, Jemima, for really sharing this. This has really educated us. And for those of you that are watching via Facebook or YouTube, you know, thank you so much for listening. Thank you for giving us your listening ears. And you can share this. You can share it. You can go onto my page on YouTube and share it with somebody. And um, really, really, you help as well. Sharing is caring. As I always is, uh, Angela always says that. So please share and let's care for one another. So thank you so much. I appreciate every single one of you. God bless you and have a lovely evening, morning or afternoon, wherever you are in the world. We're going to come off social media.